Good Baba! الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أهلا وسهلا. If in case you haven't liked this channel, then it's about time that you do so. Like, subscribe, and share because today we're gonna learn حرف الباء. Woo! Okay, I guess I'm the only one excited. باء أسمي الحرف وألونه. This is the second session of لغتي my language or my language. So we're gonna learn حرف الباء, and you can see on top this when it comes in the beginning of a word, when it comes in the middle of a word, when it comes at the end of a word, and when it comes standalone by itself. So I will name the حرف the letter, and I will color it. And now you see, you have all the ba 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 ba. It sounds like a motorcycle. Type, type. Enough, enough. Now we're gonna look at some pictures. قال فواز. فواز said, في بيتنا مكتبة. In our house, there is a library or a bookshelf. فيها كتب وحاسوب. In it are books and a حاسوب. Do you know what حاسوب means? I, I'm, I'm sure most people don't know what hasub. Hasub is actually a computer, a PC. In this case, a laptop with the Saudi flag on it. Ukhti Noura turattibu al-kutub. My sister Noura is arranging or organizing the books. Wa ana ulawwinu ala mabiladin. I am coloring the flag of my country. So what are the words that we want to pick up from here? You can see there's a lot of ba. Bait, house, maktaba, library or bookshelf or a place where you put books. Hasub with a ba at the end, computer or PC or laptop. Kutub, which is the plural of kitab. Kitab is one book. Kutub is many books. And lastly, biladi, my country, which is the plural of balad. لا أقسم بهذا البلد. It comes in the Quran, سورة البلد. So بلد is a place, a country, and then بلادي is my country, in reference to multiple places, basically. So here you're supposed to read these multiple times and make sure that you have the right pronunciation and make sure you pay attention how the باء looks differently depending on where it falls in the set in the word. It could either be like the first, in the middle, at the end. As we've explained previously, the fourth aspect of this class is أقرأ الكلمات ثم ثم أجرد الحرف. So I will read the words, then I will basically take out or extract the letter. So بلادي look how the ba is written with a كسرة at the bottom, which is the diacritical sign of the e sound, which we learned in the first lesson. Then you have مكتبة. You have the bat written as in the middle of a word with the fatha on top. And to rattibu, which is to organize, we have it with a bu at the end with a dhamma. So you have a dhamma, which is the small vowel u sound. Then we have a fatha, which is the uh, vowel sound of a. And we have a kasra, which is the small vowel sound of e. Of course, these are the short vowels. The long vowels would be for e, it's ya, yi. And for a, it's a alif, and for u, it's u. Wow, uh, wow, not wow like we say in English. Wow, that's nice. No, it's wow, harful wow. Uh, yeah. Then it says, أميزوا بين الصوت القصير والصوت الطويل. Oh, there you go. They gave it to you even easier. So you have ba, bu, bi, because it has a short vowel. Then you have ba, bu, bi. I've learned something that I always sound like. The animal kingdom in this class. And I guess if you're repeating after me, you sound the same. So now we don't have to feel bad. Well, sometimes for learning, you have to sacrifice. I guess that's one of the sacrifices. Babubi, 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 babubi. So if it's fatha, dhamma, kasra, it's babubi. And if it's long one, babubi. That's important because when you read the Quran, you're going to find both. You're going to find words. That have a alif, a waw, or a ya, and you're gonna find that one that has a dhamma, fatha, or kasra. So make sure you know it. Then in the sixth exercise, you are going to also learn how to write. And they have these cute arrows that shows you that when you write the ba, you begin from the top, 
to the bottom and then you make a left and then in the middle you start they basically show you exactly how to write it which is even better than what I do because if you see my handwriting you would say yeah shake what are you doing uh, the seventh exercise is uhaki yasira fi istikhdamihi dhamir ana so we're basically going to uh, emulate yasir and using the pronoun I uh, ana yasir of course you have to add am the helping verb am I am yasir now you say what's your name hey la ya sheikh so what do you say if you want to say I am Mu'adh أنت معاذ لا يا الشيخ وأنت مصعب ما شاء الله وأنا وجدي وأنت من أنت عبد الله أنت عمر أنت لست جورج تمام أنا في جيرل أنا مريم أنا فاطمة أنا عائشة which are normal names some people name their children weird names I hope this is not the case طيب the last exercise is my accomplishments in Jazati. So you're going to write, you're going to draw an, a circle around the ba letter and then you're going to write it. And you want to write it exactly as it appears in the above picture. So bayd, which is eggs, that made me hungry right now. Oh, I want some eggs with bahar and some eggs with sea and some books and some camel all in one big biryani of a bunch of stuff in one so bayd you're going to write the ba as it appears in in bayd and so on and so forth then you're going to read the following words biladi my country baytina our house maktaba library hasub computer turatibu organizes kutub books then you're going to complete Fill in the blanks. Makta Ab Kutu. You're gonna put the letter and you're gonna write it exactly as you learned it. And then someone will tell you to write different words. I hope your parents are helping you. So they're gonna tell you the word maktaba and kutub and biladi and you fill fill him fill him fill in the blanks for the fourth activity. And that does not conclude our lesson because we have one more page that surprised me, honestly. Which is Al Bahru Al Hazin. Oh, the sad sea. ذهبت الأسرة إلى شاطئ البحر. The family went to the seashore. فوجدوا ماء البحر بعيدا. So they saw that the water of the sea is far. عن الشاطئ. Far away from the shore. سألت نورة البحر. نورة asked the sea. لماذا تبتعد عنا؟ Why are you running away from us? قال البحر The sea said إنني حزين I am sad فأنا أمنح الناس من خيراتي I give people all types of goodness from me ولكنهم يرمون النفايات في مياهي However, they are throwing trash in my water فأتلوث وتموت أسماكي Then I become مصطفى Atalawath means I become polluted وتموتوا أسماكي and my fish die. So I want you to think about the story. We learn from this that we obviously should not, uh, we should not uh, uh, litter and throw trash anywhere. Not on the ground, not in the sea. And it's not from the habits of the Muslims to be like that. And my question to you is why are fish dying uh, when you throw uh, trash into the sea uh, inshallah you have an answer for that thank you for joining us and salam alaikum rahmatullah